Hi, I'm Caitlin, and this is Bookcast. So I thought that it would be a good idea to start out the year by mentioning some of the goals and reading-related challenges that I've set for myself this year, and this is that video. The first thing that I've kind of said for myself is that I really wanted to join BookTube. So this is one of the first videos that I'll be posting. It's something that I've been thinking about for a long time, following a lot of booktubers. I first started following Ginger Reed Slaney, and I really enjoyed her work, and I really enjoyed her Top 5 Wednesdays and want to participate. Then as the year went on, I wanted to also contribute in a way that I talked about books, not just the books themselves, but the themes they bring up. And hopefully I will be able to do that. And hopefully I'll also be able to persuade some of my friends to come on and talk with me too. I have some great friends that I talk about books with in real life, none of which who live very close to me. Um, so we often conduct those conversations online or over a phone call and so I thought it would be fun to kind of record those in a way that I can share. So hopefully I'll be able to do that this year and hopefully this will be a good video to start with. I also um, have specifically reading related challenges, not just book related. So the first is that I set my Goodreads goal for the year at 132 books. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to meet that but I'm not sure if I'll be able to exceed it this year. I have a lot of things changing in my life. I really am encouraged in my reading when I set a goal for my myself and I have something to reach towards and so I would definitely encourage you to set a reading goal for the year just a flat number of books that you read and don't feel like you have to set a like a really large number or anything close to what I or other people set just set what's reasonable for you the two other things that I have agreed to do this year are challenges that I've set that are the types about the types of books that I read so one of them I've participated in before it's called the debut author challenge and I'll put a link down below to the Goodreads group that it is associated with and also to the blogger that kind of runs the official side of things but I just kind of participate on the side and the idea is to read 12 books during the year and write reviews for them that are the debut book for that author in either the young adult middle grade or new adult genres. I primarily read middle grade and young adult. I just think that it's a really great opportunity to kind of learn about some new authors in the field and in the areas that I like to read or the genres I like to read. The other challenge that I'm trying for the first time this year was actually inspired by Pop Sugar, which is I think an online magazine. And they came up with this list of 50 different items that they want you to meet. So it's things like, um, I have a list. <laughs> A book with 500 or more pages, a book that became a movie, a book that scares you, a book your mom loves, a trilogy. And if you complete all of them, you should read 52 books. So 52 of the books I read this year will go towards this challenge. One of my friends just kind of said, hey, I know you read a lot. I want to do this. You want to do it with me? And I said, yeah, let's recruit all the people. So we have a Goodreads group going where we um, are making up kind of exceptions when we need to. But I decided for both of these challenges that I'm going to also pick my favorite book of the year, my least favorite book of the year, and the most surprising book that I read specifically for these two challenges. So I think that it adds kind of a different dimension to me and um, causes me to really think critically about I'm reading what I'm reading. And I'm really excited, especially for this Pop Sugar 2015 reading challenge, because I actually have managed to find books from most of the categories that I was already intending to read. They were on my very long to read list, but that have just keep getting shoved to the side or I keep getting pushed back and just aren't a priority so it's great because it'll push me to read a, a wide um, and more diverse like genre and category of books which I'm pretty excited about. So those are my goals for the year both my Goodreads reading goal, the debut author challenge, and the pop sugar reading challenge and then I would really like to make more of these videos so I would love to hear from you what are your reading goals for the year? Are there things that you really want to challenge yourself to? And would love, love, love to hear what you would like to see in these videos, any critiques that you have, any suggestions you have, any things you'd like me to talk about. So it'd be great if you could just help me with that feedback. And thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you watched all the way to the end, and I appreciate it so much. Talk to you later. Bye!